Hello, yes, welcome to JSM. In previous class, I have explained the stoichiometric defects. Okay, so now in this session, I am going to explain non stoichiometric defect. Okay, so generally, if an imperfection causes the ratio of cations and anions to become different from ideal chemical formula that usually we call as non stoichiometric defect. Okay, so non stoichiometric that means the different ratio of cations and anions from ideal chemical formula of the solid generally we call as non stoichiometric defects. So, generally, the non stoichiometric defects are two types one is metal excess defect, metal excess defect. And another one is metal deficiency defect. Okay, metal excess defect and one more metal deficiency defect. So here the metal excess may be okay. So here it is going to explain with the help of two one that metal excess either by anion vacancy, either by anion vacancies. Or we can also call it as F centers. F center. Okay. And one more that metal excess either by extra cation, which is present in interstitial sites. Okay. So here the non stoichiometric defects are actually two types. One is metal excess and another one is a metal deficiency. This metal excess either by that anion vacancy. Which is also called as an F center, and one more is by the extra cation. Now, let us see the first how that metal excess defect is going to occur by anion vacancy. Okay, see, this is the perfect ideal chemical uh, structure of the solid. You can observe that that ionic solid here I am taking that cations and anions are systematically arranged. Okay, so here that anion vacancy within the name is there. Okay, one of the anion is going to vacant. Okay. One of the anion is going to vacant and leaving that hole, leaving that hole. Okay, so now this hole is trapped by electron to maintain that electrical neutrality. Okay, so generally the anion vacancy within the name is there. That anion is going to vacant from its original lattice site and it is a leaving a hole. That hole. Is actually occupied by that electron to maintain that electrical neutrality. So this entrapped electron usually we call as F center, F center, nothing but far benzenter. Okay, generally we can call that far benzenter, which is responsible for that color. Okay, so this is that entrapped electron. Which is responsible for the importing color to the crystal. This is we call as an F center in Greek word for benzenter, nothing but which is responsible for color. Okay. Now look at this one. For example, if I am taking that NaCl. Okay. So NaCl crystal, if I am taking. So NaCl when I am heating in sodium vapor atmosphere. Okay. So here when I am taking that. Okay, sodium chloride, when I am heating in sodium vapor atmosphere, so what happened? This anion vacancy is going to take place. That means the Cl minus ion. Okay, suppose assume this is a sodium chloride. So Cl minus ion, one of the Cl minus ion is going to diffuse. Okay. So initially, when you are heating that sodium chloride crystal in presence of sodium vapor atmosphere. The excess amount of sodium is going to occupy on the surface of this crystal. Okay, when excess amount of sodium is there, it is going to diffuse that Cl minus ion from this one. Okay, so when Cl minus ion is a diffuser, what happened here? It is going to creating that vacancy. Okay, so immediately this sodium is going to lose electron and becomes as Na plus to combine with that Cl minus. Whatever it is a losing that electron, it is again going to diffuse in this one. Okay, so this electron actually responsible for that color. Okay, so you know that how that color formation is going to take place. Generally, the electron which is present in a ground state 
which is absorbing some amount of radiation from visible region okay so immediately what happen it is going to excited state okay so generally excited state is an unstable okay so immediately it wants to back to the ground state by re emit the radiation okay so generally it is absorbing some radiation and it is re emits always the complementary radiation from the visible region so that's why when you are eating that sodium chloride crystal in presence of sodium vapor atmosphere due to this presence of electron it is going to give that yellow color for this one okay so this yellow color why we are getting that due to the presence of this electron which you are calling that f center like that in excess amount of that lithium okay so lithium chloride usually getting that a pink color okay like that that potassium chloride which is a present of potassium excess potassium which is a present in a potassium chloride is giving that violet clear okay so this is that by anion we can see by anion we can see okay now let us see that metal deficiency sorry metal excess by extra cation okay within the name extra cation one of the cation is going to occupy in interstitial site one extra cation is going to occupy that interstitial site along with electron in another interstitial site to maintain that electrical neutrality okay so always we know that when dealing with that ionic solids those solids must maintain that electrical neutrality you can observe that in two cases number of positive and number of negative charges are same but the ratio of cations and anions are different here also you can observe that positive and negative species are same but that ratio of cations and anions are different see here the extra cation is present that's why you are calling as a metal excess defect this metal excess is by the presence of the extra cation okay so for example if you are taken the zinc oxide zlo when i am heating okay so it is going to produce the zn plus 2 of o2 plus 2 electrons okay so what happened this zn plus 2 is going to occupy that interstitial site of the zinc oxide crystal so that's why this ideal formula is going to become zn1 plus xo okay so it is a non stoichiometric clear so this is non stoichiometric defect in that one of that metal excess defect by anion we can see and by that extra cation generally this by anion we can see it is a similar to the schottky defect and we observed that we found that this anion we can see which is containing the schottky defect and at the same time by the extra cation is similar to that frenkel defect and we found in that generally the solids which shows the frenkel defect there we can expect that extra cation okay now let us see that metal deficiency defect okay so here also within the name is there metal deficiency one of the metal is going to missing from its lattice site okay generally this type of the defect we are observed in a metal which is showing that variable valencies okay so for example a is there a if it is existing in a plus and a plus 2 okay so here metal deficiency within the name we are given that one of the metal is going to uh, vacating its lattice site okay but it should be maintain that electrical neutrality okay so for that that metal same metal which is showing that variable valency it is going to presents in in the adjacent lattice site okay for example a plus here two a pluses are missing okay suppose two a plus are missing so what happen here one of the a plus 2 is going to occupy in its site okay so it is maintaining that electrical neutrality and creating one hole which is caused to that a defect that usually we could call that metal deficiency defect okay so most of the solids which you are preparing that generally it is very difficult to prepare in the stoichiometric ratio okay so for example you observe that iron oxide or iron sulfide or nickel oxide for example if i am taking that nickel oxide it is a ideal chemical formula okay but maybe when you are preparing that 
there is somewhat a uh, different suppose nickel 0.98 oh we can expect that in the stoichiometric ratio for example iron oxide is there we can observe that iron oxide is existing as a 0.95 oh non stoichiometric ratios okay so here that question actually uh, asking in your competitive exams with this stoichiometric ratio that metals which are showing that a variable valency for example if i am given fe 0.95 o okay so in this one iron is existing with that plus 2 and plus 3 okay so what is that percentage of that composition of fe plus 2 and fe plus 3 in that one they are asking okay now let us see how to solve that answers for this non stoichiometric ratios the questions that are given that now let's see the question uh, based on the metal deficiency defect here i am given one of the non stoichiometric solid okay uh, fe 0.98o in that one i am asking to find that that percentage of fe plus 2 and fe plus 3 okay so this type of the question when we are asking to find that percentage of fe plus 2 and fe plus 3 first you can look at that here 0.98o is there okay so two decimals we have just you can first bring into that stoichiometric so what you are going to get so generally we can possible write fe 98 o 100 okay so in out of that 98 iron okay assume that there is that fe plus 2 okay x atoms are existing as fe plus 2 and the remaining are okay how much 98 minus x take as an fe plus 3 okay so here i am assuming that out of the 98 x iron atoms are existing in plus 2 and the remaining 98 minus x are existing in plus 3 okay so here when you are taking with respect to 98 o 100 i am taken so just you can observe there is a neutral we are getting so by using that oxidation numbers look at this out of the 98 that plus 2 are existing is an x atoms and plus 3 are 98 minus x generally 100 oxygen atoms are there okay so each one we take as a minus 2 equals to 0 okay to determine to find that x value i am using that oxidation numbers with the help of this so what you are getting 2x okay 294 minus 3x minus 200 equals to 0 so minus x plus 94 equals to 0 then x is equals to 94 x equals to 94 that means how many plus 2 atoms are there there is a 94 plus 2 atoms are there the remaining 98 minus x nothing but 4 fe plus 3 atoms are there here i am asking to find the percentage of fe plus 2 so percentage of fe plus 2 nothing but so totally 94 is there out of 98 into 100 okay so i think approximately you are going to get a 96% clear and percentage of fe plus 3 so how many fe plus 3 is there 4 out of 98 into 100 so approximately you are going to get that 4% okay so the non stoichiometric ratio first i am bringing into that uh, stoichiometric ratio and from that i am assuming some atoms are existing in plus 2 and some atoms are existing in plus 3 so based on that just i am calculated that x value and from that we are calculated that percentage of fe plus 2 and fe plus 3 okay